Ghibli cinema after midnight. Computer kid meets galaxy rogue. <gasps> oh. <laughs> hey, come on. What better way to celebrate the teacher's last night of class than with a good space battle? No, thank you. I've already done enough battling with my class. I'm going to miss them, Ben. You know, I was just getting to know those kids, especially Lila. Well, just think, tomorrow you'll be a lady of leisure. All play, no work. I know. Lori, promise me that you won't go scanning through the one ads for a while, okay? And like you said, your battle's over. I think a temporary retirement plan is exactly what's in order right now. Honey, I do know that after tonight, I'm gonna feel a lot better about your safety. pen, uh, especially when I'm writing a brief. You mean you never have to erase anything? I gotta erase practically everything I write. Well, and that's why you need these. Well, you sure you don't want to keep just one? I mean, you never know when you might no, need look, it. No, I, I, Babs, I'm positive. Look, uh, darling, why, why don't you uh, go take yourself a little break right now, okay? No, no, I can't do that. You already bought me breakfast. Besides, this is my first day back on a job, and uh, you need me here. I mean, when you look at this desk, it's a mess. Uh, no, uh, 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 look, uh, uh, go and uh, straighten up your desk first, and then you can always come back and take care of mine later. Oh, I've already done my. Oh, I get it. You want to be alone, huh? Yeah. Oh, I can dig it. You know, sometimes I like to be alone, too. Who would ever thought that uh, you and I would be alike like that, huh? Amazing. Yeah. Well, you know, sometimes uh, I... I'll get it, I'll get it. Good morning, Webster's Legal Agency. May I help you? Babs, you all right? Hey. Now, who was that? You know, in spite of all the difficulties that I faced being at Monroe, I still believe that the Lord wanted me to get to know those kids, to try to understand why they act the way they do. Well, I won't deny that. But somehow I still feel that I didn't accomplish what I was supposed to accomplish. Laura, you said just last week you were making progress with them. Yes, as far as generating their interest to learn, but not as far as letting them know that I care about each one of them individually. Well, short of adopting them, I don't see what else you could have done. Maybe that was it. <laughs> Adoption? No, no, but they, these kids kind of are like a family. You know, and they fight with each other, but they're very protective of each other. Oh, you mean like us? No, I... I guess I'm not making any sense. Me and my child psychology. Lori, I'm very proud that you try to always do your very best. And you've done just that with these kids. But now comes the final chapter. Look, I've got to go, or my patients will be lined up around the block waiting to see me. Mm. Let me help you. Oh, okay. Thanks. Remember, I'll pick you up after school tonight, okay? Right. I've already informed Mr. Kimball of my escort for the evening. Okay, and if I can't come, I'll send Peter. Right. If you can't come, you'll send Peter. Oh, wait. I almost forgot we haven't picked a movie yet. Oh, no, we haven't, have we? Okay, well, let's see. I'm sure we can find something better here than the computer kid. When you found one? No, but there's an article in here about Becky. Her album has made the top ten this week. Well, it looks like Becky's career is really zooming. Yeah, mine's the piss. <laughs> Cheer up. The Lord will give you something. He always does. Yeah, the question is when. Whoops. Well, you'll just have to um, wait and see. 
In the meantime, why don't you find this movie for tonight? Okay. I'll see you later. Bye. Well, do you think you could help me? What do you want me to do? Move the table, of course. What do you expect? Why don't you just get up and move it yourself? Look, that whirlpool just relaxed me. It didn't cure me. Now, would you like me to call Charles? Yeah, great suggestion. Great suggestion. And when he's bowing at your feet, why don't you ask Sugar Daddy to hand you my 5000 Look, Charles isn't about to hand over that kind of money. Not until we're married, at least. Well, that's your problem, not mine. Well, look, his divorce comes through in two months. Can't you wait until then? No. Nancy, where are you? In here, Charles. Ah, there you are. And how did therapy go this morning? Uh, couldn't have gotten better, Mr. Carpenter. You cannot believe the improvement that Nancy's had. In fact, she's becoming my favorite patient. Now, that's what I like to hear. That's the way a day should begin with a good report. <laughs> well, he's just trying to encourage me, Charles. Now, now, Nancy, now, don't underestimate your progress. He's right. We're going to see to it that you don't stay in that thing forever. Excuse me, sir. I'm going to go in the next room and do our exercise schedule for tomorrow. Yes, of course. Listen, Charles, did I get any phone calls while I was out? Uh, no, I got one. That was the only one. Oh. Well, hmm. is it uh, something important? Well, yes, actually. I, um, Terry called me yesterday while you were at the office. Mm -hmm. She wants the down payment on the house by today. Otherwise, she's not selling her half of it. What? Well, she wasn't in a rush to sell out before. Yeah, I know. I, I think she's embarrassed because she didn't want the Redlands to know that she only owned half. Oh. Well, uh, how much does she want? Uh, $5,000. $5,000? Yeah, I know, Charles, but uh, we really have to do it just to prove to her that we really want it for Nancy, us. my cash flow is in a bit of a crunch right now. Yeah, I know, Charles, and that's why it's really rotten of her to, to pull this off, just when we were getting to be close as sisters again. Well, I don't like it one little bit, but I'll do it for you. Terry will get her money. Sit down. Come on, man. Now, who was that on the phone? Lance. Lance who? <sighs> Hugo Lancelot. He's a jerk who does Ronnie's dirty work. Now, Babs, look, as long as you're here, you know, nothing's gonna happen to you. He said he was gonna kill me. He was in the car with Ronnie that night. He laughed and he said this time he's gonna finish the job. Well, I'm gonna call Brubaker and tip him off. No, no, not this time. Babs, you gotta have police protection. Ronnie's got connections downtown. Why do you think I never had to sweat a whole term in the slammer every time I got busted? Oh, I just hope they don't come hunt me around Mrs. Redland's place. Anyone mention Mrs. Redland? Well, Mrs. Redland, I didn't realize you were here already. Oh, well, you did tell me to come this morning. Uh, yeah, yeah, I did. Um, listen, man, uh, go ahead and take this out there and, uh, and type it up for me, will you? And, uh, listen, everything's gonna be all right, I promise. Is she all right? Yeah, uh, yeah, she's fine. Uh, she just, uh... Heard from a long-lost friend who should have stayed lost. Mm. I think I know why you called me. Do you? It has something to do with Terry's house, is not it? Oh, Terry Davidson and Nancy Lawson's house, yes. Unfortunately, I happen to be Ms. Lawson's attorney. And what I've got here is not, uh, is not pleasant news. What's this? It's a court order. You and your husband are directed to vacate and you're not given all that much time to do it in. Well, you could tell your client that she can reclaim her house tomorrow. Really? As far as I'm concerned, Mr. Webster, Miss Lawson could have moved in weeks ago. Why? Jean moved out. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Right now, I think it would have been better if Gina and I had never gotten back together in the first place. At least we would have been spared a second failure. Well, um, well maybe there's something I can do. Maybe I can uh, talk to him or something. 
I mean, you know, you two were the, the only divorce case I had that didn't end in divorce. Thanks for caring. But it's too late for talking. Especially to someone who wouldn't even listen to you anyway. I thought Gene was a sensible man. Not anymore. Jimmy and I are leaving for Lake Tahoe soon. We're almost packed. So you see, Mr. Webster, this court order eviction notice couldn't have come at a better time. with you. Now, I know you're not broken because you're practically new. Jimmy, you mind telling me how this got inside the suitcase? They're dads. I know. But why didn't you leave them out? Well, I thought maybe we should keep them just in case. Jimmy, come here. You know I love my baby, don't you? And I know it's hard for you to understand because your dad and I put you through so many changes. But I told him I was sorry for running away that time. Oh, he isn't angry at you. Why doesn't he want to be with me anymore? It's not you that he doesn't want to be with. Oh, it's just... Sometimes a person has to be by himself for a while to think. You understand what I'm trying to say? Before, I stayed with Dad while you were alone. And now I'm staying with you while he's alone. It looks that way, at least for now. You and Dad get a divorce like last time, too. Oh, hon, we can never know. Dad, you're here. I knew you would. I knew you'd come. Hello, Carla. Jean? I stopped by to see Jimmy. Obviously. Um, I didn't know you were packing so soon. Well, there's still some things in the hall closet I haven't gotten to yet. Jimmy, you can keep your dad company for a while, can't you? Sure, Mom. Hey, Dad, are you looking for these? Hey, yeah. So that's where they've been. I was going to take them on a trip, but Mom wouldn't let me. Oh, I wish you could come. Well, I can't, son. You know, Jimmy, I... Really, I wish you weren't going. Thank you. I appreciate it. Bye. Brubaker wasn't in, but he's going to call me back later. I thought he told you not to call the police. <laughs> I didn't call the police. I called Brubaker. Let me see what you got. Trouble reading your handwriting. Well, I never was real strong on penmanship. Now that uh, typewriter jammed up on me. You mean the one I just bought? Well, it uh, it, uh, it, it, it it certainly looks neat. I can redo it. I don't think you have to redo the whole thing, Babs. Just the parts where. It's... Yeah, from the beginning to the end. Here, give it to me, and maybe I'll have it finished by tomorrow. Look. Take your time with it, will you? I'm not in any big hurry for that. Yeah. Hello, Beth. Hi, Mary. Is she all right? You know, that's about the most popular question I've been asked all day. Yeah, she's fine. Uh, her typewriter just hadn't learned how to spell correctly yet. Oh. <laughs> well, uh, what can I do for you? I finally got up enough courage to write to Frederick, and I thought you'd want to know about That's it. That's great. You got his address in. Right. I got it from Lori. Uh -huh. I'm not so sure that uh, his father will want to be hearing from me, but... Time heals a lot of bitterness. Yeah. I suppose he's just started a whole new life for himself, just like Daddy did with Mother away. Well, if those two investigators I've got on her trail find anything, she'll be back in this town before you know it. I can't believe this. You still haven't heard anything from her? No, not a word. Don't worry, though. She's bound to surface sooner or later. Well, in my letter, I asked Frederick 
to contact me the minute he hears from her because I know her well enough. If she'll allow anyone to know where she is, it's her grandson. Yeah. Well, when we do find her, I'd sure like to find out how she's managed to pull off this disappear and act for so long. The way I figure, we got a little less than two months to separate Nancy and your dad. Right. And knowing Nancy the way you and I do, she's going to do everything and anything she can in that time just to keep Daddy right where she wants him. Jimmy, uh, I don't want you to go, son. I, I have to be honest with you, buddy. But Mom's already planned the trip. She said I get to go swimming and everything. Yeah, but you can do that here. You can do that here. Don't forget who taught you how to swim there now. I mean, you know, we stick together. We've helped each other out in a lot of things there. Well, who's going to take care of Mom? Oh, Jimmy, your mother's... Your mother's got a lot of business. She can take care of herself. She'll be fine. Well, why can't you come? Jimmy, I can't right now. I've... You know, that would be impossible. Before you said it was impossible for you and Mom to get back together, but you did. Yeah, but... Jimmy, I want you to help me move these... Jean, I thought you would be gone by now. Jimmy, I have some boxes in the hallway. Would you move them back into the closet for me? You know, Carla, if I hadn't come by, I never would have known you were leaving. You knew we were leaving. Hmm. Did you get around to telling the boy that he may never come back here again? To what? This house? I got a court order this morning telling me to leave. To this family? What can I say? Am I the blame for that? Oh, you're never the blame for anything, Gene. Then I don't even want to talk about this anymore. Oh, great. You, oh, hey, that's, that's nice. You don't want to... Oh, Carla, she doesn't want to talk about it anymore. It's too bad you didn't feel that way before you went running to talk to Mom and then talk to Leon and everybody in Kingsley who would have listened to you. Do you know how I feel when you go talking our business to everyone, Carla? I did that to try to save our family, our home. Oh, you don't care about a family or a home? You have no right to say that to me. And you have no right to take my son away from me. Take your son away? You know where we're going, Gene. I'm not trying to hide from you. Oh, Carla, it's because everything happened so fast you didn't have time to cover up your tracks, woman. You know, I can't believe you are accusing me of running away. Yeah, well, I just call it the way I see it. Well, what do you want from me? An apology for loving you. Carla, don't make me fight for him again. Now, we got away with this before without having to go before a judge. He's my son, too. Why are you fighting for me? What did I ever do to you? Oh, Jimmy, wait! Jimmy, son! Now, are you satisfied now? Ah, uh, doesn't that sound exciting? First thing tomorrow morning, you get to see your doctor. Did you arrange this little outing for me all by yourself? Oh, I sure did. Hey, come on. Never let it be said that Tab doesn't take good care of his patients. I suppose I refuse to go. Well, uh, suppose I tell Mr. Carpenter why you don't need to go. Just don't ask for a recommendation for your next job, Tab. We'll need a next job after this one. Oh, don't get up. I'll get it. Good afternoon, Carpenter Residence. This is Harold Webster. Let me speak to Nancy Lawson. One moment, please. Harold Webster. Oh, that's the last person I need to speak to. Just hang up on him. Mr. Webster, I'm sorry. Miss Lawson is unable to come to the phone at the moment. Yeah, well, uh, you tell Miss Lawson that it isn't every day she acquires a house. One moment, please. Hey, I think you better talk to him. Something about you getting a house or... Oh. oh, hello, Harold. Oh, I've just woken up from my nap. It's part of my therapy, you know. Uh, so what's this about my house? Uh, you're half a house. Carla Redlin just stopped by my office this morning and I served her with the eviction notice. Fantastic. Oh, great. So when do they clear out of there? <sighs> Tomorrow. <laughs> if I never see another Redland again as long as I live, <laughs> it'll be none too soon for me. Yeah, I can always count on you for honesty, Nancy. So when can I move in? You know, I've been waiting for this thing for a long, long time. I bet. Uh, 
I can't answer that for you. You're going to have to get together with Terry on that. What? Well, me? Why don't you handle it? I, I mean, won't it be better if you speak to Terry? What about the closing price, Nancy? You, you surely aren't going to expect me to negotiate for you. No, look, Harold, I've already discussed those details with her. Now, now please, would you do that for me? <sighs> Webster's Real Estate Agency. All right, I'll talk to her. When? The sooner the better. I'm pretty booked up. Uh, why don't we just leave it at, uh, as soon as my schedule permits. For us. Does that mean we're not coming back? Don't ask so many questions. But does it? Does it mean we're not coming back? We'll see. Now run. Put your suitcase in the car. I'll be out in a minute. Lake Tahoe, here we come. Well, dream house. Looks like the end of a dream.